Hi, this is Omri de Mundo, your one and only man of world. And this is the uh, mid-weekly mailbag, I'm, I'm sorry. It's sort of late-ish weekly mailbag, but that's, that's all my fault. Blame me, if you must. Since we're late, let's just get going, okay? Question number one. Spirit tracks help. This is from Sue Cooper and she writes, I cannot ice over the water long enough to get the low bell. Snow tower into place, no matter how I try. Any suggestion? Well, it's been a while since I played Spirit Tracks. Uh, and, um... Oh, hey, how do you get there? Okay, uh, that, that's pretty cool. Actually, I need your help with something. Um, do you remember in Spirit Tracks, in the, uh, ice, ice temple? And you were supposed to get like three bells, and there was this low bell, and you had to, you had to ice. No. No. Okay. Uh, he doesn't remember either. So I don't know. But hey, Zelda Universe has uh, a walkthrough on the site, on the main site. You go to uh, the Spirit Track section, and then j just look for the walkthrough. It should be easy to find, and it should help you with any problem that you have. Alright, next question. Question number two. Zelda and accessories. I think that's how you pronounce it. I've been saying accessories, but I don't know. Anyway, N. Greenway writes, Do you believe that adding a vitality sensor to Zelda Wii is a good idea? Will it be too much along with the Wii Motion Plus? Ever since Miyamoto uh, gave an example of what you could do with the vitality sensor, and for those of you that don't know, he said basically, for instance, when your heart rate goes up, uh, then then they could make enemies become harder to fight, or or something like that. And and ever ever since that, I've been a huge believer in the product, and I'd love to see it in Zelda Wii, uh, since I mean it could change the game depending on how the player feels. So it, it it's not only awesome in that way but it also allows players to challenge themselves to try to control their emotions, controlling the game for their own benefits. And I love the concept so much, I, I think it, the Vitality Sensor should be incorporated in every Wii game, almost. Problem is, as you're saying, as of now, we have the uh, Wii Remote and uh, we also have the uh, Motion Plus, all right, so connect that. And then, we have the nunchuck. Connecting the nunchuck to the Motion Plus. There we go. Um, there's nowhere to put the vitality sensor. So, of course, it becomes a lot of accessories and, and it, it just simply doesn't fit in here. And I can't imagine playing the game without a nunchuck. What Nintendo needs to do is they need to uh, redesign, I'm thinking, the nunchuck so that it has a built-in vitality sensor, like you put a little hole in here somewhere where you stick in your finger and it sounds sturdy and all, but um, I mean, so something like that, that's what needs to happen. That's what I think they'll do. When Wii 2 comes around, we'll probably see a nunchuck with a built-in vitality sensor and, of course, a Wii remote with a built-in motion plus. Question number three. Old school Zelda? Hmm. Boulder the Dragon writes, hey guys. First, let me say I'm a big fan of your mailbag videos. Nice and humorous at times. Well, thank you, I guess. This is the first time of me doing it, so I'm not gonna take any credit for it. Um, but I'm glad you like it. Recently, two game franchises have gone back to their roots. Sonic, with his new Sonic the Hedgehog 4, and Mega Man, with Mega Man 9 and 10. My question is, do you ever see Link returning to his classic roots? Or has this already been done with other Zelda titles? More importantly, do you think that one day people will get tired of the gameplay used in the 3D console games, the dungeon crawling, camera angles, etc. Will this formula someday get old and force Link back to his roots? Yeah, we've seen a lot of games uh, go back to the roots, as you say, and, and other examples, I guess, would include Castlevania and Contra Rebirth. And uh, a couple of years ago, you know, Nintendo released New Super Mario Brothers. But I don't think Zelda will, will go there. Why not? Well, because 
it still keeps very true to its roots. L looking at games like Sonic, Sonic and Mario, for example, well, those franchises headed in to another direction completely. You know, both franchises headed into the third dimension with mixed results, and they adapted new ways of playing the game. Uh, in Zelda, however, the only thing that was drastically changed in the leap to 3D was um, the combat. I mean, you still have the same elements of exploration, uh, you, you still have the dungeons, and you still have all the items, and the bosses, and the keys, and everyone can look at this first Zelda game and then look at a game like Twilight Princess and go like, yeah, it's still Zelda. Now it is true that uh, many people wish to bring back some elements from the classic game, such as, uh, you know, it's non-linear expl exploration and, and things like that, but, but the fact is that if Nintendo was to remake The Legend of Zelda, I think it would feel like a big step backwards. I mean, especially since we, we still have 2D Zelda games, you know? Uh, sure, Spirit Tracks, for example, is a 3D game, but it plays like a 2D game. So, I no, I, Link does not need to return to his classic roots because, frankly, he never, he never really left them. All right, that's it for this uh, mid-late weekly mailbag. I'm Omri Mundo, your one and only man of world. Over and out.